Let's talk about twinkling, um, it, which sounds... Let's talk a little bit about twinkling. And uh, that always sounds funny, and it's a fun word to say. Um, most of us have remember the little song that says, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Well, the official fancy scientific name for twinkling is scintillation. Okay, say that with me, scintillation. Um, scintillation, or twinkling, is the changing in the brightness of an object from moment to moment. What causes stars to twinkle? It's really not the stars changing, it's our atmosphere. We live on planet Earth. We are surrounded by a lovely ball of gas, which is our atmosphere. And as light from a distant star comes through that atmosphere, the atmosphere moves and wiggles. This causes the light from that star to appear to wiggle. Um, what is wiggling in the Earth's atmosphere? Actually, most it's a combination of winds, but mostly it's going to be rising heat. Uh, I've used this ex example in the past, but it, it's still a fair example. If you talk about a mirage, uh, you're driving down a distant highway in a hot summer day, and you see heat rising off of the pavement, everything you see in the distance, trees, uh, I don't know what the heck that is, let's pretend it's a tree, um, is going to look like it's kind of wiggly. Well, the same thing happens in Earth. Heat rises off of our lovely warm planet, and that's going to make light that passes through that wiggly air look kind of wiggly. And the fancy word for twinkling and wiggliness is scintillation. A lot of people have said uh, through the years, well, stars twinkle and planets do not. And that's one of the ways you can tell them apart. And that is true to some extent because all of the light is coming through the Earth's atmosphere. Both the light from the star and the light from the planet are going to be subject to the, the, the ripples and the motion inside the Earth's atmosphere. But planets don't twinkle as much. They don't scintillate as much. And here's why. The star appears like one point in the sky. We have a very small number of photons that are actually going to come from the star down to us. But planets are closer. Planets are bigger. So they actually look more like a disk reflecting lots of light back to us. And because of that, maybe this photon of light uh, is n in a non-twinkly, wiggly part of the sky, but this part of light is in a wiggly part of the sky. There are so many more uh, photons reflected off of planets than stars that that is the reason that the planets appear not to wiggle as much. Um, they look like disks of light in the sky instead of individual pinpoints. So lots of beams coming from an object increase the chance of clarity of that image. I'm going to ask you to watch a short video on uh, scintillations. It's kind of a silly one, but it does a nice job of explaining it. All right, see you later.